part two of our logo app, we're going to design more complicated figures that are shown here. To understand how we can create more complex figures, let's look at this draw square method that's provided in the file. Here we're using a nested set of for loops to move forward and turn to create a square. If we comment out our old draw face method from part one of this app and uncomment the draw square method, we can see how this works by running our emulator. Once we get the emulator running, we can just hit the draw command and we can see that we get a square. We can then draw a sequence of these squares after turning the robot by a certain number of degrees after completing each one to get more of a flower-like pattern. Let's look at an example of that now. In the provided code, there is this draw flower method. It draws six squares by using a for loop. And each time at the beginning of each uh, draw square call, it changes the pen color to a random color as shown. After the square has finished being drawn, we turn the robot 60 degrees before drawing the next square. Let's turn our emulator on and see what this pattern is going to look like. Here we see a set of six squares randomly colored. If we were to click on the draw method again, we would get a new set of colors because we're using the random number generator to pick the colors. By studying this draw flower method, you should have enough information to draw all the shapes required in the exercises. <laughs>